hello everyone this is rahul pawar i welcome you to my youtube channel in today's important video we are going to discuss another important real time challenge that was given in a recent interview now i you know suggest or encourage you guys to practice this level of questions so that you know when it comes to real time working or you know when it comes to giving interviews your job will become very easy okay so now let us get started and see what is the question and while doing so if you are new to my channel don't forget to like share and subscribe so now the question that was given was display last 13 months sales and highlight the sales whose profit is greater than 14% of the profit using sample superstore okay now there are few things that are given in this question that we need to understand okay so first one is first one is we need last 13 months of sales so this is the first check then first we need this and then we need uh sorry then we need last 13 months sales and we also need last 13 months profit on top of this we need to find out how much is 14% okay for and this 14% we need to compare it with the sales and if it is greater than the 14% then we need to color and all so that is the requirement so whenever you get such a requirement first i try to list out what all the things that you need to create then only you can start and proceed so the first thing that i am doing here is i am taking my order date to check if i have my latest date or not so in our sample superstore that i am doing i have data till 2022 okay so just to bring it with the sync with the current year i am just trying to create a new calculated field and i'm calling that as you uh, know current year and i'm simply using date add function and i'm adding year of one to order date one base and this is not mandatory i'm just writing it for convenience purpose so we got here data till 2023 okay now i'll remove this and i'm just converting this into month format so that you know it is easy for us to you know or calculate or find out if we are doing right or not so the first filter that i'm trying to create is a base filter that i can use it for my all of my calculations okay so i'm trying to create a filter for last 13 months okay so if you're following my channel you know you know how many ways we can do that and maybe you can pause the video and try to you know write the logic and then see how we have written and this is the not the only way we can write the logic there are multiple ways i will always encourage you guys to try an alternate approach other than what i am showing in the video that way it will give you a perspective to have you know multi uh, dimensional approach or you know different uh, approaches for a common problem like that so i am simply using date diff again date diff of so because we need months here last 13 months so i'm trying to subtract months here okay months from what from my current date and today today is the function that i'm trying to use which will give us current year current month and current date so from this we'll get today's month and then we can find out last 13 months from there that is the purpose here so before i do anything i'm just clicking on apply and i'm trying to bring it into the view so that we understand you know how we are getting the values here if you see here we are in september 2023 so it is giving zero okay and because we have some future dates as well so it is giving us minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 okay so but we need last 13 months which means from here we need it till here okay because zero is also one of the month that we need to consider okay so now what i am doing is i need all the months that are greater than or equal to zero and simply i am just copying this and uh, less than 13 
So again, you can parameterize this to have uh, you know, to make your code dynamic. So based on number of months specified by the user, he can go back and bring in the sales for only that number of periods. So that also you can do it here. But for now, I'm preparing a static calculation. Again, that is the method here. So just uh, I'll just write a comment here, create a parameter and replace to make the code dynamic. Okay, so click on apply. Okay, now if you see here, we are getting from September, it is becoming true. Till September 22, it is becoming true. Now just in case you want to find out how many rows of data you have, you can just use index function to find out the numbering. Just I'm making sure, you know, we have 13 months. Okay, maybe we can also use this calculation that we have created in filter shelf and bring in only true values. Now you see here, we got only 13 months of data. Okay, that way also we can do here. Okay, so now our base filter is ready. Okay, so our base filter is ready. I am going to use this filter to calculate my sales and profit. Okay, so creating again, last 13 months sales. Okay, so how are we going to do if my last 13 months filter from this, if I'm getting true, then give me sales and I'm ending it simple. Okay, very standard calculation. We should be able to do that. Now again, aggregation, you can do it in within the calculation itself or you know, you can just simply drag and drop that option. I'm leaving it to you and I'm just taking this field and I'm just dropping it here on the label. We got sales sign. Same likewise, I'm trying to bring in profit also. So let us duplicate this. Okay, so because he asked last 13 months sales and also profit also we need because we want to find out to 14% of that profit we need to find out, right? So sales we got and I'm just duplicating this and uh, edit. So instead of sales here, I'll simply write profit here. And here, instead of uh, sales, I will write profit, simple, okay? Click on apply, okay, done. So we got sales and we got profit. I'm just saying, taking it into it and uh, maybe let us use this. Okay, maybe let us rearrange this. Okay, and uh, yeah, index I don't need now because we have validated, I'm removing that. And uh, yeah, now we have last 13 months sales and we have last 13 months profit also, right? So two things we got. Now we need to find out 14% of this profit, which means whatever the profit I have, see here, 73,000 we made sales in September 2022. And the total profit we made from that was 9,300. So from this, I need 14%. How are we going to calculate? Okay, can you guess guys? So you can you know comment in the comment section and see, let us see how many of us can get that right. So this is the only part where I felt, you know, many of will you will get stuck how to find out 14% here. So I'm just trying to write out 14% uh, of profit. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is simply sum of the profit, last 13 months profit that we have created or found out into what I'm doing is 0 0.14 I'm doing. Okay, so 0. Point, so because 1 to 100, if I try to calculate percentage, 1 to 10, 0 0.1 to uh, 1 would be the maximum number. So if it is 0 0.14, it is 14%. So let us also try to validate and I'll show you if it is right or not. You can only validate. I'm just trying to bring it here. Now we got some percentage here. So it is a little tough to validate 14% now. Let us make it 50% so that it is easy to calculate. 0 0.5 I'm making. So what is the total profit? We have 9,300, right? So let us open calculator. And we know that 50% means it should be half of what we have here. So how much we have here? We have 9,329, 
टू नाइन डिवाइडेड बाई टू इफ आई डू इट इज फोर सिक्स सिक्स फोर हम अच्छा वी गेटिंग वी आर गेटिंग द सेम फोर सिक्स सिक्स फोर ओके विच मीन्स दिस इज वर्किंग जीरो पॉइंट फाइव इज फिफ्टी परसेंट जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स इज सिक्सटी परसेंट लाइक दैट अगेन इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस इफ एट ऑल यू वॉन्ट टू पास a parameter and make it dynamic that also you can do it so let us also write a comment here so last uh, pass 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 parameter to make code dynamic okay i'm just making 0.14 click on apply okay now i think we got all that we need we got 13 months sales we got 13 months profit and we also got 14% of the profit okay now we need a calculation that will compare if so what is the last question here highlight the sales whose profit is greater than highlight the sales here see here highlighting the sales whose profit is greater than 14% of the profit so if my sales is greater than this 14% of the profit i need to highlight that simple okay so i can simply use a calculation here uh, maybe i'll write as uh, or uh, maybe i'll write it as color condition and i'll write if my sum of sales sum of last 13 months sales is greater than my 14% profit right so i'm just taking that 14% profit here okay so why is okay one second then it is green for me else it is red for me i'm ending it simple okay so it isn't identifying this yeah i got it now simply take this calculation on because you know you see here now it is creating a dimensional field now if i directly take this it is creating or coloring our value so for now if you try to validate uh, my sales is greater than 14% of the profit here how much is the profit we have 1300 close to but how much is the sales it is 73000 so because it is always greater than that it is trying to color in one color but when you have a false condition or a you know condition that is not matching this it will try to give you a different color here okay so this was the ask that was given in interview i hope you have liked it and you know if you like it don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day